What's going on, guys? Black Scout Survival Late Night Live. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let's talk about a, a bill that got passed, the Inflation Reduction Act. It's actually, you, you've heard of it before because it was named uh, the Build Back Better Plan. They changed the name to uh, <laughs> the Inflation Reduction Act. <clears throat> and so uh, what does that mean for you? How is it going to affect you? It's not good. It's not good for sure. But uh, Congress passed a $700 billion dollar inflation reduction act which unlike its name would not actually reduce inflation instead it spends hundreds of billions of dollars on climate change obamacare programs and actually employs a bunch of irs tax soldiers that are going to come to your door wanting the uh venmo <clears throat> money you made or the paypal transaction the uh <laughs> cash app they're gonna they're gonna come uh getting tax uh coins off every transaction you made so the vote featured no Democrats opposing the bill and no Republicans voting for the bill. So the Senate passed the legislation with a 51 to 50 vote with 50 senators that voted Republican and 50 that voted Democrat. The vice president who serves Miss Miss Kamala Harris, who serves the president of the Senate, served as the tiebreaker. The House approved the bill. And now we have to deal with the uh, repercussions mark fellows welcome sir <clears throat> so uh anyhow let's kind of talk about what this entails because a lot a lot of people don't pay attention to the news or what what really is going on but timing and i got a lot of this information from smart her news i mentioned her plenty of times she's uh, uh we had her on the, the, the channel a few weeks ago, I definitely recommend you uh, follow her because she gives unbiased news reporting. She actually does lots of research and you can get very good intel from her. So um, the timing passed just before lawmakers leave for an August recess and three months before the midterm election. Why? Wow. Great, great, great timing, right? Um, so let's talk about what's in the package. Healthcare, Obamacare. Starting in 2026, the federal Medicare program will be able to negotiate prescription prices of certain drugs with pharmaceutical companies, potentially lowering prices. Obviously, a lot of these politicians are heavily invested in pharmaceuticals. Um, this will also give uh, free vaccinations to uh, all, everyone on Medicare and, uh, you know, more, more money for their pockets. You know, anytime they pass these bills, a lot of reasons why politicians pass bills is because They'll set up programs that may be companies that government spending, and then they'll buy stock into these companies and boom, they're rich, you know, climate. What does climate have to do with the inflation? Um, but it's a big part of it. And uh, we're, we're going to, we've got a chart too to show kind of all this stuff. Uh, described by Democrats as the largest climate change funding in U.S. history. The bill includes policies to combat climate change, such as providing incentive tax breaks for consumers that go green. So if you go buy Hunter Biden's car batteries that he's heavily invested in with the CCP, who uh, we turned over Afghanistan to the Chinese so they could basically negotiate with Afghan uh, Afghanistan to mine for the minerals they need to make these batteries. And... Uh, the big man gets his cut. So they're going to get rich from this. Um, and uh, selling all these these car batteries for these electric cars. Because they're so easy uh, easy to purchase for everybody, right? Especially coming into a recession. Um, taxes. Establishes a 15% minimum tax on certain corporations earning $13 uh, million annually. I think that's what it says. Um, create hundreds of billions of dollars of, in, in green, uh, of green energy slush funds uh, that the federal government to dole out. So what this will do is essentially give a bunch of people jobs um, within the government, bunches of money, friends, family members are going to get big, big positions, you know, and, and just money hidden in places that the taxpayer doesn't know about. Um, the bill contains budget gimmicks and fake offsets that mask the true cost of the bill. They try to do this. The Democrats were doing this with some kind of veterans 
program a few weeks ago, you heard them saying that Republicans oppose, and they're like, how could you oppose giving veterans benefits? Well, what that was just a small part of the bill. There was tons of other stuff that had nothing to do with veterans slid in there, and that's what they do with these bills. They'll slide a ton of other things, wasteless spending, setting up new programs, various people's agendas to get rich. Um, I mean, how do you go from being a, a cocktail waitress to, to being a millionaire? I mean, it, it doesn't make sense uh, going into politics, right? So um, this other thing is invest. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Invest in disadvantaged communities, in, i.e. cleaning up pollution and taking steps to reduce environmental injustice with $60 billion for env environmental justice. What, whatever that means. Uh, I, I st I'm still unclear on environmental justice in in a in a l low income communities, disadvantaged communities. Anyway, again, make another historic climate investment, reducing carbon emissions by roughly forty percent by twenty thirty. Why, why, why is the 2030 day? Why do we have to do that by 2030? Because of the Great Reset, guys. And we're going to play a clip here in a second. 2030 is an important date for Build Back Batter. Um, so just kind of looking at this chart here, you see 15% total revenue raise, top line estimates, 15% corporate minimum tax, $222 billion, prescription drug pricing reform, $265 billion, IRS tax enforcement, $124 billion tax enforcement. 1% buyback fees, loss, limitation extension, total investments, the 437 billion. Look, the total investments for the Inflation Reduction Act, guys, is energy security and climate change, $369 billion. $369 billion of your Inflation Act is uh, climate change. And then Affordable Care Act extension, Obamacare, $64 billion. And then Western... Drought resiliency, four billion. Where, where the hell does this, where the hell does this work for Inflation Reduction Act? Other than the tax army uh, that the IRS has has hired to come to take it from you, there's there's no there's no Inflation Reduction Act. That that's literally look, guys. Total investments, energy savings, climate change, affordable Obamacare, and Western drought resi resiliency. And we're trying to do this all by 2030. So the other thing is it says that it creates, they're going to create manufacturing jobs. More than $60 billion invested will create millions of new domestic clean manufacturing jobs, i.e. microchips, microchips plants in Arizona. From the, Nancy Pelosi just went to Taiwan, met with the CEO of uh, TMSC. They're going to come here, build the, the, the microchip factories, and boom, she her husband's going to invest for her. They're going to make millions of dollars. So. They're just bringing the, the, the Taiwan business here. Um, and so this is a quote um, from Senator Mike Crapo from Idaho. It does nothing to bring the economy out of a stagnation or recession, but rather the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 gives us higher taxes, more spending, higher prices, and an army of IRS agents, just like I said. And then uh, Rand Paul from Kentucky argue against additional funding for their internal revenue service, saying it supercharges the IRS against the middle class. They also argue that higher taxes on oil and gas development will increase energy costs. But again, guys, my, my question is, what, what the hell does this have to do with uh, reduction of in inflation? More spending and, and again, more stocks for politicians. If anything, it's Inflation Reduction Act uh, help, helping the elites, right? Get, get, uh, get more money to get rich. So what is the impact you will feel from it? I'm going to tell you a few things. Um, they're going to place $52 billion tax increase on small businesses. So if you're a small business owner, you're going to get taxed at the yin yang. Place $72 billion tax increase on seniors retirement and 401ks. Glad you worked your whole whole life and you finally you're trying to settle in and now you're going to have to, uh, you know, count your pennies to survive. Um, so if you know any seniors that voted for Joe Biden and whenever they're like starving, you remind them that they voted for this because orange man bad. Um, increases taxes by nearly 17 billion on taxpayers earning less than 200,000. 
<laughs> middle class. Middle class gonna get hit very hard. And, and lower class. Everybody's getting hit very hard. Um, the analysis suggests that inflation reduction that will only reduce annual inflation by 0.1% annually. 0.1%. So why is all this happening, right? It's, it's, it's not a secret, guys. 2030. Let me see what Mike's got to say. Mike, thank you, buddy. I heard yesterday that Dodge is discontinuing the Challenger and Charger to focus on electric vehicles. Never thought I'd see this come this quickly. Yes, moving quickly. These guys are pushing. Um, yeah, John DC. Thanks, man. These guys are pushing because they realize there's there's no coup 2020 where they can, you know, uh, do the melon ba ballots right now. They, they're trying to push every agenda they got because they've got to, you know, the overlords are saying you better get it done. And and you, you say, oh, this is a conspiracy theory, Jack. You have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Boris Johnson resigns office while Bill Gates is in country. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk more about him in a second. But the prime minister of Italy also resigned from office after some political turmoil there. The prime minister of Pakistan was removed while Bill Gates was in the country. Um, Bill Gates in, in, the, in the places and things are, people are getting removed and uh, resigning. The Sri Lanka. Uh, President flees after protest storm the capital. Panama, Argentina, and Ecuador are all facing economic collapse. Protests in South Africa from ec economic collapse that is, are, is actually killing people. Um, protests in the Nether Netherlands because of a fabricated nitrogen crisis by the government. We actually talked about this on the uh, Nutrient Survival podcast I was on a few weeks ago. So the, the Great Reset is happening. It's happening right in front of us. They're not even hiding it. It's happening. Um, you'll be happy and on nothing. You'll eat your cricket and you'll uh, own nothing, peasants. Uh, but, but it'll happen here next. Where we're in the process of it. The U.S. economy will likely tip into recession during the first quarter of 2023 and shrink by 0.4% for the full year as the combination of high inflation, tightening monetary policies, bedevils consumers and businesses, says a Fannie Mae economist. So we're looking in the next uh, six months to be in uh, recession. The Biden administration will swallow up your disposable income and will take the rest of it for IRS by their IRS tax army, right? Um, it'll literally be survival in six months, guys. You'll be trying to survive. And, and what I mean is by modern day survival, meaning that you're trying to, uh, you know, you're eating canned foods. Um, oh, kids need braces, not happening. Um, oh, guys, we're just going to we're gonna have to glue those shoes back together, kids. Um, oh, you only got two pairs of jeans? Uh, just rotate it, guys. Um, maybe you can share with your, you and your, your brother or sister can share uh, clothes um, just, just to try to get by. That's where we're headed. And I'm not even kidding. I mean, I'm being kind of uh, funny, but it, it's true. <clears throat> we're, we're there. You can already see it. JBO says we'll uh, decrease inflation by making us all broke. Yeah. Um, Chad Russell is saying you probably uh, cover this, but I saw on Facts Matter that several states are going to hand out more stimulus checks. Coming soon as part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Yeah. I um, Thanks, guys. I, I hadn't heard that, but I wouldn't be surprised. I want you to sit home. You know, even even you can go look at uh, Elon Musk, Elon Musk has been an advocate of people sitting home and getting paychecks enough, enough to live, right? So get get rid of, you know, how much money you can earn, you'll get your paycheck. He makes electrical vehicles, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so people yell Bitcoin, Bitcoin, do Bitcoin because um, it's unregulated and da, 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 da. But um, <clears throat> Biden signed an executive order. Let me see where it is. Is this the, that's not it. Biden signed an executive order <clears throat> and uh, basically order 14067 officially titled ensuring responsible development of digital assets. He just put the 
Department of Justice and charged to reg regulate cryptocurrency. So any any hopes of that, guys, is, is out the window. Let's see, I got something else with that. And basically, Treasury, DOJ, State Department to study whether to preserve cryptocurrency, DOJ to de determine a new law needed, um, agencies research to protect consumer protect consumers, quote, 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 meaning that we're going to regulate this, um, of investors against fraud, analyzing systematic risk, digital assets posed, Treasury to report future of money payment system. So the other thing within this is they talk about creating a uh, global you heard me right, a global crypto that, that everyone operates under. They, they said they're partnering with some other countries to do that. What does that sound like? It sounds like biblical end times. Um, you know, it's like people, people question the Bible, but like stuff keeps on coming true from it. Um, so, uh, the Arctic Wolf, great job with the info. Keep up the good work. People need to get their plans up to snuff. Yes, and we need, we're going to talk about that later. If you're not part of the tribe, you're definitely going to want to be there. Um, Tim Moore, thanks, buddy. Yep, Marxist globalists, yes. Totalitarian governments. JJ, is, it is not looking good. <clears throat> so, the uh, you might have thought, yeah, so the top Department of Justice, they are the, the the, the, the Waffen SS for Joe Biden. I mean, they're doing it. They handle everything. They, they got put over something the other day that I was like, what is the Department of Justice doing over this? Like, they're getting put over everything. So the, the thing is, is that you've heard Bill Bat better, Joe Biden's moniker. But the thing is, is that this isn't a Joe Biden thing. Build Back Better is not a Joe Biden thing. It's, it's actually a World Economic Forum thing. You see World Economic Forum. This is from their website. Um. Building Back Better, an action plan for the media, inter entertainment, and culture industry. What do they have to do with anything with the media, entertainment, and culture industry? I'll tell you what, because that's who controls people. People love what actors say. They love what the media says. They're completely brainwashed. Social subversion, ideological subversion from CNN and all these other uh, sources. Um, build Back Better. We must reinvent capitalism. Here's how. You notice how they keep using Build Back Better for every topic of discussion. This is World Economic Forum website as well. And then we've got Joe Biden here from the WhiteHouse.gov. Fact sheet, President Biden and G7 leaders launched Build Back Better World Partnership. So it, conspiracy theory? Nope, it's not. Uh, so the, going back to Boris Johnson, the week that Boris Johnson resigned, Bill Gates flew there. He, Boris Johnson had a dinner party, 20 people. The other people were high-level members of the World Economic Forum. And uh, people, people, word on the street is, is that Boris was asked to step down because he became lax on the coup restrictions, right? Because they started less loosening the restrictions there. And because he was supposed to be their pawn, he, they, they put him in place. And he did not follow what the overlord said. You also notice um, the, the same type of behavior from uh, Justin up in Canada. You know, he's uh, the the way he gives his messages. You can tell he's not talking to the people. He's talking to the overlords, saying, "Yeah, yes, I'm doing what you, you told me to do." Um. So, like, yeah, what about that memo from from the White House? I mean, that's pretty severe. So it said, you know, Build Back Better World, uh, an affirmative initiative to the meeting of tremendous infrastructure needs of low to middle income countries. President Biden and G7 partners agreed to launch the bold new global infrastructure initiative, Build Back Better World, or B3W, a values driven, high standard and transparent infrastructure partnership led by many major democracies to help narrow the $40 trillion infrastructure need to developing world which has been exasperated by the COOF pandemic. And so agenda 2030, right? Why, why was that date set in the Inflation Reduction Act, right? 2030, well, this is why. Eight predictions for the world in 2020. This is the World Economic Forum. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy, buddy. Whatever you want, you'll rent. It'll be delivered by drone. You will own nothing, peasants. 
You own, you hear me? I'll tell you what, Klaus Schwab, whenever you own nothing, I'll own nothing, buddy. These billionaires trying to tell me that I'll own nothing and I'll be happy. The U.S. World, world won't be the world's leading superpower. Joe Biden is already, he's, he's already like, yes, sir, I'm handling that right now as we speak. I'm sinking America, sir. I've got it under control. Don't worry. A handful full of countries will dominate. Notice these flags here. How scary. You won't die waiting for an organ donor. No, because we'll just snatch them from the organ farm we got out there. Uh, oh, they'll, they'll 3D print it. Sure you will. You'll have an organ farm out there of us peasants that's eating crickets, and they'll take what they need. You'll eat less meat and an occasional treat, not a stable, because you'll be eating crickets. That's why a billion people will be displaced by climate change. Did you guys see the Project Veritas report where back in April they at, they had a CNN guy undercover and he's like saying that, oh, yeah, we're going to start pushing the climate change. And then also all kinds of clips of all this climate change nonsense. Yeah, that's coming, guys. That'll be the next one to scare people. We've got a fear monger. Welcome and integrating refugees. Open the doors, Biden. Let everyone who wants to come in, come on in. That's what that is. You notice that he's doing it. Joe Biden is definitely one of their puppets. He's he's like, yes, sir. Doors open. Who, whoever wants to come here, free and clear. Um, yeah, man. Um, so uh, Maria um, saying check Epoch Times. Article lab rats that got the, the jab had many babies, malformed ribs, etc. Yeah, I actually did see that. It's, it's, it's pretty disgusting what they've done to people using this as test, test dummies. Polluters will have to pay emit carbon dioxide. Polluters, i.e., you guys that are not driving uh, Hunter Biden's electric cars. There will be a global price on carbon. This will make fossil fuels history. So, yeah, guys, you'll be buying Hunter Biden's car batteries with your car, and uh, you'll be eating crickets. HE, thanks, buddy. What's up, Jack? My cyber security professor used to work for the DOD. He says Hunter Biden's laptop is their downfall. A huge cover up by the FBI. Oh, no, no, no doubt. A huge cover up by everyone. I still cannot get over getting hit for that video. They literally labeled my video terrorism, terrorism because I did the hunt. So how it went down is, it's, you know, I've got followers all over the world and someone sent me a link from uh, Asia and uh, they're from Asia and they, they sent me a link and they said, check out this news report. And so it's got like video of Hunter Biden. So I had the video like a long time before anybody else even had it because they were playing it around the world. And so I, I posted that and has some of you guys may have remembered the video. Anyway, literally within a few hours, it got, take, it got taken down, and then I got hit for terrorism. That's what they labeled my, my strike as. So, yeah, of course, everyone was working against that. Um, so earlier today, kind of talking about that kind of censorship nonsense. On Instagram, I posted this right here. To celebrate the hiring of 87,000 new IRS agents, we should throw a tea party. You notice I say IRS agents. We should throw a tea party. That's all I'm saying. Then I get hit by this missing context. The same information was revised by independent fact or reviewed by independent fact checkers in another pet post. And so this ticked me off. But anyway, so they sent me a thing like an email basically saying that I was getting hit for it and uh, I could appeal it. So I appealed it. And based on my appeal, I uh, used an article from CNBC, one of their their people. And I'm like, uh, they hired a 7000 IRS agents. They replied back with this. Thank you for your input. After reviewing the post in question, we have respectfully decided not to change the rating. The IRS plans to increase its headcount over a decade, and not all our agents will be auditors. I did not say IRS auditors. I said IRS agents. They even said not all agents will be. They even and they said it. These are the semantics that they use to try to fact check you. Oh, your misinformation. Because they try to use verbiage, but they you can tell. I mean, they they're totally wrong on this one. But whatever, you know, Zuckerberg's a creep, a loser. He's got a lot of money. That's it. But he's a loser. 
So, obviously, the good news though is last night, Liz Cheney got the got ousted. I posted. I was like, everybody, go vote. Um, Tim, hold on one second. Still had ter uh, terrorism is what Matt Walsh and everyone is getting hit with. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for all your support, guys. So Liz Cheney, I posted. I said, dudes, go vote against this evil woman. And there's a lot of people that said, oh, you know, don't go vote. It's a waste of time. Well, Liz Cheney learned it wasn't a waste of time. Quit saying that. Quit saying that nonsense. This isn't COOF 2020. This isn't Mellon Boats. This Supreme Court has already ruled against that happening, saying it's un unconstitutional. They were able to play the game, and it wasn't just by votes is how they they won the last thing. They, they won it by using these fake tactics, these uh, like these post things, uh, suppressing voices in these sort of things, covering up things like the Hunter Biden email uh, scandal, all these things. That's how they, they won. They use a ton of, there's a Time Magazine article where they outright admit to it. I talked to Jenna about it a few weeks ago on, on, the, uh, on the channel whenever she was on. So to say, oh, don't go vote. Uh, it's not, 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 not going to work. You're just playing in their hand. They want you to do that. They want you to go sit home and not vote because then, then they don't have to rig things right they don't have to play the games because you, you're sit home right you, a lot of people have already been the silent majority and then you're not going to vote on top of it stop with that nonsense quit saying that liz cheney found out that votes do count L listen the democrats love liz cheney cnn loved her she hated trump she spent her entire campaign against trump she even had her daddy on a a, a commercial talking about donald trump like when did you think you're, you're trying to trying to keep your seat and you spent your whole time talking about Donald Trump. Even Obama said that they're that the Democrats are spending too much time on Trump. They're going to lose elections because they're spending all their time. Instead of trying to coerce American people into voting for them, they're spending all their time on Donald Trump, all the energy. Obama also said they're trying to push too many agendas, CRT, LGBT, gender uh, things and to kids. All these sort of things, right? Moving too fast. You notice that Obama never tried to touch guns. He was afraid to. He knew he'd, he'd lose a lot of votes. So that's the thing. Is they're they're moving too fast, and they are flipping people. They're they're literally people are waking up. People that may have just disliked Orange Man bad for whatever reason, they are like, dude, I'm paying I'm paying a hundred dollars to fill my gas tank every week. It was only thirty dollars under Trump. People are waking up. They're tired of the nonsense. They're tired of their kids getting indoctrinated. They're tired of all this stuff. Um, so people are waking up. She got voted. She got ousted. She literally got ousted last night. She's one of their puppets. She got she got the boot. Not only her, eighty percent of them have that, that that voted to impeach Donald Trump. My man Tom Rice from South Carolina. Look, he got the the freaking boot. We freaking kicked him on out of here. Right? All these all these losers right here. They just lost because they went against Donald Trump. So that, that's that's what I'm saying, guys. Saying voting don't work, not true. Not true. Anyway, make sure you like the, the video before you forget. Hit that thumbs up. So uh, another thing I want to talk about, guys, the world is getting terribly, terribly crazy. I mean, it is. You know, I mean, you, you slow bull. So you're not you're not panicking yet, but you should be, right? Guys, I, I'm I'm well prepared individual. Well well prepared. I'm a force to be reckoned with. And even I have trouble sleeping at night because of where we're at in America. And if you're not the same way, then you are literally not paying attention. Right? I'm probably much better equipped than most people that's watching right now. And I have a problem with the way the world is right now. You know what I mean? And so you're lying to yourself to think that everything's okay. I see guys in the comments or they're leftists that follow me for whatever. And maybe they just follow me to troll. I don't, I don't know, but, but you're blind. You're, you're completely, you, you have fallen for your dope. You have fallen for it, right? You fall, you're a sheep. You, you watch too much CNN. You just shake your head. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go with whatever. I'll eat my cricket. The thing is, is that we spoke a few weeks ago about getting organized, networking, knowing people, like-minded people, having someone as a backup, having a group, having people that you know 
are there to have your back. And we've started that. I've mentioned it. And I was like, oh, we're, we're going to figure out how to do it. We, we've done it. And it's moving. And, and the tribe members here can attest to it. There's a lot of them watching right now, like Maria right here. Um, Davin, thanks. Arm IRS is no good coming for our money and our guns. Absolutely. Maria's in the tribe. Who else is here? Um, let's see if I see other names. Texas Assassin. Anyway, uh, Z Cali, our moderator, doing a lot of good. She's doing a lot of good work over there. Um, so basically, we started this group. We've got state groups set up. We've got resources. We've got uh, barter trade. We've got network, and uh, it's only getting better. So if you want to join our group, and we're gonna, we're, I'll uh, talk with them after after we get off here. I'll we'll, we'll go uh, have a after party there, and I chat a little bit um, we'll, where we can talk more. You can talk to me more. You can talk to the group more. You can meet like-minded people in your state and uh, get organized. And so we have that. What you got to do is you got to join our join the YouTube channel member program right here. Now we have a platform off of YouTube. We're not going to dis disclose what that is to the, the populace unless you want to join. But if you join that, you get access to that. You got a network. You got a group of people, right? And uh, it's easy. I mean, I mean, you can join for two ninety nine. I think that's what it is. It's nothing to join. Uh, see Maria saying it's freaking awesome. She loves it. All right. We've got a great group over there, hun hundreds of people, and uh, a lot of uh, good chatter. So if you're in the tribe, you're watching. Make sure you go to the group. Set up. Your stuff, War Wrath. He's here. Yeah, War Wrath. He, he's he's a a strong member over there. Um. And so yeah, Rip Curl just got the BSS five knife. Yeah, man. And this is the most smartly designed, high quality knife I've ever purchased. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man, guys, you better go get these knives because they're not going to be around forever. Uh, it took me two years to get them, so it took a long time to get them. American made, very high quality, high, best quality knife you'll see, hands down. Trust me, I wouldn't sell it if it was. If it wasn't, best best quality knife you'll get, I promise. And the best design. Here, John DC, proud tribe member. He's over there. Go join our network, guys. We'll put a link below. We want to see you over there. We want you to be part of our network, be part of our group. Because it's uncertain. Things are uncertain, and uh, we don't know. Chad Russell just joined. We'll, we'll see you over there, buddy. Go to the community tab because now you're a member. You can see it. And there's a link there. And go set up your profile. <laughs> As uh, Z Cali says, we've got chat state by state too, so you'll be able to network with people that live in your state. Absolutely, we've got it set up. I mean, it's good. We spent all day working on it. So, Sergeant Rock, welcome, dude. Mike, you, if you don't vote, don't complain because you've gotten what you asked for. Absolutely. Kilo Charlie, he's asking to grow the tribe. Where, where does Kilo go? Here. We do need, we need to grow. We want you there. We want you there, really. We do. We want, we want everyone there. Um, we're having great discussions, a lot, meeting a lot of friends, and uh, getting, getting going. And we could, we could use you, right? You don't know what the margin to hold. Anyway, guys, I don't want to keep you up any longer. Go join the, the group and. Uh, and join us. Join the tribe. Just got the BSS weapon light, best weapon light ever. I run on my Smith and Wesson MP. Awesome dude. And so if you got a weapon light, you need a holster. Hilton Holsters is our manufacturer. That's the only person we trust to make the uh, Black Scout weapon light compatible light uh, holster. And you can get actually Black Scout logo stuff there. He's we've licensed our logo with him. He can make you Black Scout logo camo stuff. Amazing holsters. I'm gonna bring some tonight. I told him I would to show you guys. Um Joe Beaver, <laughs> you had on the link to join the tribe. My name is just Joe. Yeah, that's cool, man. It don't matter. All right, Wolf's there. Good. All right, we'll see the rest of you guys there. We're going to go have a, a chat after party over there. we got a Sean B's coming. Zeus is coming. All right, guys, we'll see you guys over there on the after party chat. 
Anyhow, guys, remember to go comment on the video. Please help me with the algorithm. Help me fight these commies. They've done hit me today on Instagram, so please go help me fight. They've been hitting me hard. I got a uh, hit on a video, um, Thursday night video on YouTube. So please, please go comment and like. It helps me tremendously. Um, I do appreciate your support. Things are uncertain, guys. Start organizing, networking, get around like-minded people. Anyhow, guys, remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, stay dangerous. Good night. Have a good week.